Hey guys, today, I'll show you a horror film, Cadaver. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins by showing a painting of what appears to be the bloody head of a beheaded sheep. It is placed on a posh plate, including a knife and fork in the sides. Inside a massive house, kids are shown running around the corridor and the stairs, scavenging abandoned clothes trashed on the floor. The scene is a landscape of a ruined city. The fogs are forming all over the worn-out buildings that make them hard to see. The people are seen to be in extreme danger and are only taking advantage of what was left in the ruined city. A child goes to one of the buildings alone, her parents are looking for her, and they find her staring through an open door. They realize that someone in that room has hung herself and taken her own life. It is revealed that a nuclear disaster is what hit this city. Thousands of newspapers are trashed on the streets, and the headlines say nuclear disaster. We can see that the people debate whether this incident is a nuclear accident or intentional. At the start of the movie, this is the question that engages the viewers to think about what is in the story. One day, Leonora wakes up from one of the buildings. She goes to a room to check if her daughter, Alice, is safe. Leonora notices that the bed seems empty as she wonders where her daughter has gone. To make sure of it, she pulls the blanket and sees nothing. Leonora is starting to become paranoid and starts screaming the name Alice repeatedly. This lady wakes up again, implying that all of what happened was only her dream. We can now see that this movie has a dystopian setup of a society. The main characters and the environment are manifesting remnants of trauma and tragedy. Leonora continues to check if Alice is in the room. Unlike in the dream, Alice is present and she says that she has heard things again. Her mother starts to comfort her to sleep. However, Alice starts being frightened again when they hear a loud thumping noise just outside their sanctuary. Leonora holds Alice tight to make sure that she is okay. One morning, a person is screaming throughout the city and strangely inviting for a theater play that is coming in the city soon. All of the viewers will have a free meal if they decide to go. Being curious about it, Leonora asks the person how on earth that a theater play would happen in the middle of a ruined city. The person says that it is because Matthias is kind and wants people to have fun despite the frightening times. Leonora's husband is called Jacob. They are both suspicious about the theater play. Jacob says that it cannot happen because it does not add up. On the other hand, Leonora thinks that this might be a good thing. This is the strangest part of the movie. Why is there a theater play in the middle of a ruined, poverty-stricken city? Suddenly, balloons, food, and entertainment are happening in a dystopian world. How strange and peculiar is that? Later on, the couple agreed that they should go to the show despite the fishiness of it. That same night, they go to the mansion where it is located. At first, one of the staff does not allow Alice inside because she is a child. But Matthias, the showmaster, says that Alice could be an exemption. They are overwhelmed by the massiveness of the house. They realize that it is nowhere the size of their sanctuary. As they are having dinner together, Matthias goes to the platform and delivers a speech. He welcomes all the people inside the building by saying, Welcome to the theater. He says that the play will not happen on the stage with no auditorium and elevated seats. Matthias says that the whole stage is the hotel they are inside. Matthias gives them masks of the color gold and says that it is for the audience. All the audiences put their masks on and get to choose which character they are going to follow. Leonora asks Alice who she wants to follow. Alice says she wants to follow Rachel. The three of them now start strolling inside the hotel, mesmerized by the acting of the characters. After going through the corridors, they find Rachel inside Matthias's room. They have some arguments. Like what Matthias has said, we can see that this theater play is not your usual show. Instead of sitting in a chair, the audience must move to see what is happening on the whole show. This is what makes the plot of the film Cadaver unique. Inside the room, it seems like Rachel wants to be reunited with Matthias. However, Matthias makes it clear that their relationship is already over. Jacob says that Alice should follow Rachel throughout the whole play. However, Alice is starting to be consumed by the wave. She is now strolling by herself. One instance, while Jacob and Leonora are having a conversation, Alice starts to go missing. The parents are now distressed and start looking for their daughter. Inside one room, they hear their daughter scream. Jacob thinks that it is not funny anymore. That is why he breaks one of the doors to look for Alice. While finding Alice, they realize that Catherine, the one they had dinner together with, has missing family members too, which is why they teamed up together to look for them. They suspect that their missing family members might be in Rachel's room on the fourth floor, room five. While inside, they go separate ways to find them. However, not long after, Catherine disappears too, and only one earring is left of her. Here are the questions. Are the missing people all part of the show? 
Or just like what Jacob is suspecting, is there something off with this theater play? We are to find out why. To look for help, they ask some of the audience if they see their daughter Alice. Although, because they got rid of their masks, the people think that they are actors and actresses, that is why they are not helping them. Similarly, while the married couple is talking in the corridor, one actress thinks that they are the audience because they are unmasked. Still looking for Alice, they see the stuffed toy of hers lying on the ground. And in that same room, they see Lars, the husband of Catherine, asking for help. They notice that the room is full of clothes. There are so many piling up that they are forming mountains of different garments. Leonora looks through the clothes and she finds her daughter's red dress just lying on the ground. Jacob inspects Alice's stuffed toy that is stained with blood. He tastes the blood and Jacob says that it is sweet and only fake blood. They think that maybe that all of these are only part of the show. Still, they look for their daughter. They find that the people with surgical masks are suspicious because they are the ones dumping and burning the clothes. They go down to the hotel to look for more. Not long after, an actor wearing white clothes comes after Jacob and puts a knife on his throat. Jacob fights him and tells Leonor to run. Leonor escapes the scene as the actor is chasing her. She goes to hide inside a closet. The actor is about to find her. But a woman says that all the actors are needed in the ballroom. Whether the show is real or not, it is surely getting into the audience's nerves. Leonor does not think of this as a harmless show anymore. This feature in a movie is good. It is like putting the film watchers in the character's shoes, both as audiences. Leonor goes to the meeting of the actors and actresses. She finds out that Catherine is also one of the actresses and not the audience. Leonor has been seeing and hearing her daughter Alice in her imagination. Her mind is starting to collapse, as she cannot get Alice out of her mind. All she wants is to find her daughter, but the only dimension she finds Alice in is solely in her mind. The second batch of the show's viewers is starting to come inside the hotel. Leonor finds herself looking at the same painting of a beheaded sheep inside different rooms all over again. Being curious about it, she goes near to inspect it. Leonor is touching it to make sure that there is not something behind it. In the lower part of the painting, she sees a silver button, immediately pushing it. It is a trap. As soon as she pushes it, the floor below her collapses, and she is now stuck underground. In the underground, Leonor sees the people with surgical masks. She sneakily follows one of the masked men. She realizes that behind all the paintings she has been suspecting of before is this place. This is where some of the staff work in the dark, and she is about to find out what they are doing inside this dim-lighted and crowded area. Leonor finds the end of the place. Unlike the other area, this one is well lit. She sneakily peeks, and she sees the people with the surgical masks. All of their clothes seem to be stained with blood. Leonor also sees them carrying naked, unconscious bodies. She thinks that these are the audiences that were killed by the staff. Some of the masked men are seen chopping human body parts. This explains why their uniforms are full of blood. Their job is to make sure that the body parts are well chopped. Leonor cannot bother to look at them anymore, worrying about her husband and daughter. Inside her mind, they might be dead and killed by these people. This is the rising action of the film. It is revealed that the show has a bloody and gory side to it. The revelations that we will find out later will explain why this film is called horror. It makes the viewers choke on their own saliva. Going away to the bloody place, Leonor bumps into Lars. As soon as they bump into each other, Lars knocks Leonor down. Lars pulls her unconscious body into a crowded room. Not long after that incident, Leonor finds that her feet and hands are tied with rope while hanging upside down. Matthias looks her in the eye and says, join us. Matthias says that Leonor is the longest person who has survived the theater play. Leonor realizes that the hotel has so much food despite the famine, because they are eating all the human audience. Leonor begs Matias to let her go so she can be with her family. Leonor refuses the invitation of Matthias to join their team. He says it is a shame because her husband, Jacob, accepted the invitation and understood their situation. Matthias pulls inside his suit the red dress of Alice. He apologizes and says that he did not mean to take Alice away from her. As soon as Alice sees the dress, she becomes distressed, and she asks him where he put her daughter. Matthias orders Lars to finish off Alice. However, as he is about to cut her throat, Jacob comes into the scene. Jacob says to Lars that he will try to convince his wife to join the team. He says to Leonor that they can do so many things in the hotel, unlike the outside world, wherein they barely eat food. Leonor insists that she will not join the hotel. That is why Jacob gives up and requests Lars if he could make the killing. Lars gives the knife to Jacob for him to kill his wife. Little does he know, Jacob lunges at him and punches him in the face, making him touch the floor. 
Jacob then immediately uses the knife to free his wife from the rope. However, Lars stabs Jacob from behind, leaving him dying. After he stabs Jacob, he immediately goes to Leonor to be his next target. To protect herself, Leonor bites Lars' wrist and pushes him to the sharp hook, leaving him dead and with a big hole around his stomach. This scene explains that even when they get to be murderers, some of the people, like Lars, still join the hotel for the sake of their family. Lars showed that he joined the hotel to give her family a much more comfortable life. The film is trying to say that, in a dystopian, famine-stricken society, even good people can do bad things for them to survive. Leonor goes to Matthias and threatens him to expose him to the new audience if he does not tell her where Alice is. However, all the audience thinks this is only a play. Matthias whispers to her that he is glad that he finally joined the theater. Leonor gets an idea to convince the audience that she is telling the truth. Using her acting skills, she wants to make the audience intrigued by her, follow her character, and show them where they chop the people. While acting, all of the audience follow Leonor. Matthias gets distressed and orders the team to stop them. Leonor is successful in her plan. All of the audience, including Catherine and the other actor, sees for the first time the butcher room. All of them rush to Matthias to blame him. After all this time, the other actors and actresses did not know that they were killing people. Leonor asks Matthias where Alice is because she knows that she is not dead yet. Suddenly coming into the scene, Rachel stabs Matthias in the stomach. Matthias says that he kept Alice alive because she reminds him of her late daughter. Matthias is slowly dying and gets picked up by the people. In the end, Lena is reunited with her daughter, Alice. This time, it is not her imagination anymore. Knowing that she is real, she hugs her and makes sure that Matthias and all the other bad people will never separate them again. They go outside the hotel and go back to the place where they belong. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.